What's up guys, so Lairdus Gamer here and I hope you are enjoying your day. So with Hogwarts Legacy just days away, if you're like me and you're excited about this game, I'm sure you've been watching tons of preview footage. But whilst watching preview footage, I've seen a lot of comments about the usage of the spell Levioso, with many chiming in that it should be Wingardium Leviosa. So I wanted to make a video to set the record straight. Is it Levioso or Leviosa? Before we get into the answer, I just want to remind you guys that I'm launching this channel with a giveaway of the deluxe edition of Hogwarts Legacy on the platform of your choice. We'll reach out to the winner before launch, so I wish you all good luck. All you need to do to enter is be a subscriber of this channel, so click the link in the pinned comment if you want a chance to enjoy what I believe will be a fantastic game for free. Also, if you like this content and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel, and subscribe for more awesome Hogwarts Legacy content. So, is it Levioso or Leviosa? Well, it depends on what you're trying to do. Levioso, the levitation spell, is a spell that levitates objects. However, it does not allow one to move said objects while they are airborne, and also requires constant contact with the target. The levitation spell was one of the earliest recorded spells of the wizarding world, having been created in ancient England. The levitation charm with the incantation Wingardium Leviosa, on the other hand, is a variation of the Levioso spell. It levitates an object and allows that object to be moved through the air. Another variation of the levitation spell, the hover charm, incantation unknown, makes an object hover in midair for a brief period of time. Now this charm works on both objects and people, whereas Wingardium Leviosa only work on objects. Now you guys might remember Dobby used the hover charm in Chamber of Secrets to move Petunia Dursley's pudding from the kitchen and dropped it on to Mrs. Mason's head. Now there's also Professor Severus Snape's Levy Corpus spell, also known as the Dangling Jinx, which levitates and suspends someone by their ankles. Now if you guys want to know the difference between spells, charms, jinxes, hexes, and curses, check out this video where I explain it in detail. So let me know in the comment section if you think we'll get to see only the Levioso spell or if we'll also get to see any of its variations. Also let me know which of these spells you prefer. So I hope this settles it, 10 points to Gryffindor or maybe I should say Slytherin because that's what the sorting hat on the fan club website sorted me into so we'll see. But 10 points to uh, either of those houses. And guys also in the comment section let me know what house you plan to be sorted into. You know which house are you going to play under uh, during your first playthrough. As always if you if you enjoyed this content please don't hesitate to hit that like button as it really helps out the channel and if you want to see more content like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button as I will be covering more news, gameplay, updates and so many secrets about Harry Potter and Hogwarts Legacy as well as other games. I hope you enjoyed this video, I wish you a fantastic and happy and prosperous life. Goodbye for now and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.